So here we are in the Azure portal and the first thing we want to do is create a cognitive service that is the forms recognizer. To create anything in Azure, you go up to the menu and click create a resource. To find forms recognizer, you can simply search for forms and forms recognizer will come up. Click create and fill in some simple details in order to create this instance. Here's one we created earlier. Here's the icon for it. If we click into this resource, the main thing we're going to need to use is the keys and the endpoints in order to train and test our Forms Recognizer API. So what does the code look like when we start to train, retrieve training results, analyze a new form and get those results? Well, here's four simple curl commands that can get you started. So we need to start by training the model. To train the model, we're going to pass five example forms to the Forms Recognizer API, along with a content type, a subscription key, and then the link to the actual documents that I want to train on. I have five forms that look a little bit like this. They all have a similar format, but what we want to do is extract all of this specific information per invoice. Once I've trained my models, I can retrieve and review the training results. But one of the things that we definitely want to do is test our training, and that's where we can analyze a new form. We send it to exactly the same API, but this time we have the model ID and we pass that in from the previous calls. We pass it the content type, the subscription key, and then this time, instead of a link to the training documents, I want to send it to one single invoice to test. Once that's sent to actually get the full results, you call the results API with the output of the analyzed form. So let's see that in action. We can see there's a large JSON response and I can format that and view it by using Alt, Shift and F. And we can see that this call succeeded. It now has these key value pairs like name and address, etc. And as we continue down, we can see postcode, company city. And so this has broken out all the information we need from our forms. Now I've trained the Forms Recognize API, I want to build it into some form of automation. Here I'm going to use Azure Functions. I have some sample code that allows me to call my Forms Recognizer API endpoint using HTTP requests. I have those fields that we recognize from our form, and I've also added in some of the details such as URL endpoint, API key, and the specific model ID that I want it to recognize from. You can use the Azure option on the left in Visual Studio Code to publish this straight to an Azure function. Our Azure function is sitting inside the Azure portal. And when you go to the code and test option, you can actually test this in the portal to see if it works. So we've created a post method and we've provided it our test invoice, just like we did with the curl commands, plus a SAS token that allows us to access it. In the terminal, we can see that this executed successfully. And in the HTTP response, we can see all of those key value pairs now nicely aligned from our JSON response from Forms Recognizer.